For too long, we've settled for beaded wallets and world's best Bigfoot mugs. It's time to get serious about arts and crafts. Hmm. A bit low on supplies. Ooh! A mystery pot of ancient clay! Imagine the fabulous creations you can sculpt with this. And here's some dry macaroni. Macaroni! Ooh, ooh, I love my life. I love my life. Ah! Ancient ah. clay, seriously? True art is a reflection of the artist, not the medium. Yeah, art. Hey, do you know what rhymes with art? <laughs> I'm a butt face. <laughs> Historical, edible, and functional. Gobble, 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 gobble. I made a woodpecker. What have you got, McGee? Introducing my muddy buddy, Clinton! <sighs> Hi, I just flew in from Mudville, and boy, are my arms dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy gold! <sighs> uh, of course, some ancient clays are more magical than others. Mix ancient clay with human breath to create your very own golem. Golem? Golem, a magical servant that will follow any order. Hmm. Caution, makers of ancient golem clays are not responsible if your golem falls in love and disobeys commands. Ooh, sounds romantic. Um, a personal servant that follows all my commands? Sweet! Hey, golem! How about a dance? Oh. <laughs> okay, you can stop now. Awesome! Oh, the possibilities. Come on, Clayton. Ah, another successful day in the arts. What a great day for a stroll. Or a juggle. Right, Clayton? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, better you than us, my friend. Bon appetit, mud bud. Ah. <sighs> Beautiful. Wish I could see it again. Clayton? Ah. Pretty. But it can't be good for the rest of the planet. What? Okay, seriously? What's next, Golem Gang? How about kickboxing? Uh. Ooh! Can Clayton make waffles with a side of waffles? Then we can write poetry about waffles? We could do all that right after our prankerific helicopter ride. <laughs> uh. <Hey. laughs> ooh, ooh. Scanning, scanning. Prank target acquired. Victim number one. <laughs> 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 Good one. You got me, campers. <laughs> Ah, I love the smell of swamp softener in the morning. <laughs> hmm, not bad. <laughs> ah, first the sun and now fish. My weatherman is so fired. <laughs> Aha, unsuspecting villagers. <laughs> Flee before the devastating might of Godzilla. Rawr! Your puny sandcastles will crumble beneath my colossal feet. Uh, ah! The ground is eating me! <laughs> the sky and the ground may be against me, but nothing gets the buster down. Ah! What did I ever do to you, Sky? <laughs> McGee. I should have known. Oh, relax, butt pimple. This is way more refreshing than the other shower prank I had in mind. Oh, yeah? Well, this b butt's gonna wipe the floor with you. Behold. Sh 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 Nanigan bot. <laughs> Not me, them. Oh, he asked for it. Cannon Clayton Ball! <laughs> Treatment. Ah! 
rank butt squat with world's biggest splash. Done and done. McGee! Uh, this is all your fault. Normally, I'd shake off this mud before shaking you down, but I can't. Until it's done, moisturizing and exfoliating my luminous yet sensitive skin. Oh, Clayton! Activate Big Sister Protocol with Extreme Sisterness. <laughs> if you think this walking mud pie can save you, you've got another thing coming. Oh. That's right, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Muddy. <laughs> Is that mud hypoallergenic? I don't think so. I'm out of here! Uncle Clayton, no! Heel boy! I... Hey, no! McGee! Call off your dirt bag! Clayton, put her down! Ah! What do you mean, no? Oh my gosh, McGee. I know why Clayton's not listening. Your golem's in love with <laughs> Susie. Ew! Ah! In love? With me? Hey, mud for brains. Shoulder, nap. This has possibilities. Clayton, get rid of these camp crashers with a side of brotherly banishment. Cool! A cannon! Oh, I wish I thought of that one. Also, <laughs> Golem, cool me. Now! Oh. Man, every time I make a golem, it falls in love with my sister and tries to blow me up. Well, he'd fall out of love too to sweet if he knew Susie the way we do. Hmm, brilliant, Gretch. It's time Clayton got a face full of the real Susie. Oh, <laughs> hey, Suze. How's it going? If you've come to get your goal thingy back, you can't. He's mine now. Yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> But, um, what's with the palm leaf? That breeze couldn't blow out a candle. Whoa, you're right, bruh. More power, dirt face. Oh. <laughs> it is embarrassing how easy this is. Yo, you mud moron! I said more power, not more power! Look at my hair! <laughs> Drop the sad puppy act. I'm not happy, so what are you gonna do about it? No! Let me go, you walking mud pit! Hey! Oh, that golem's got it bad! Clayton! You put me down, you hunk of mud! Uh... Meh, been here, seen that. Whoa, that golem never gives up. Muddy hearts beat strong. Well, you got that right. Get ready. It's time for some tough love. Oh, oh. Lame! Oh. I don't care. Spare me the dramatics. Oh, I can't watch anymore. Hold her down! Oh, hey! <gasps> My mud treatment! Uh -huh. Promise you, dude. Someday you'll meet the right mud dudette. Priorities, people! Hang on, Suze. I'll save you. Oh, no, you don't. My camp, my save. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rope. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, Suze. Had it on auto shenanigan. It's all good now. Clayton, kick the robot's butt. I'll get Susie. <laughs> Back in business! That mud pie's gonna get a whoopee cushion whopping! Uh, uh. Hang on, Suze! I'm whooping! I gotcha! What? Uh, maybe not. I'm telling Ma! <laughs> Don't say I never gave you anything! <sighs> For me? Oh, you shouldn't have. Have a slice of mud pie! No! Taken down by baked goods! Ah! Oh. Oh. Ah! 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 I'm fine. Clayton! His 
body was made of dirt, but his heart was made of gold. They don't call me the mud matchmaker for nothing. the never-ending detour. When Squirt ate the compass. Uh, for the record, it did look like a cookie. Tasted like one, too. Cheer up, campers. We're just taking the excruciatingly long, unbelievably exhausting, totally incorrect way home. I know it'll crush this boredom. An insanely scary original story from the vault of the Terrameister Magie. Uh, please, no. I didn't pack spare undies. In fact, I didn't wear undies. And now I know something I'll never unknow. Once there was a creepy cabin. Built on an ancient burial ground. Very original, Terror Meister. Ha! A zombie's bearings are never wrong. Camp's right over. Oh, dang. Wrong again. Creepy cabin out of nowhere? Hey, it looks like we hit the haunted spook pot. How much you want to bet there's a gruesome caretaker? I don't want to find out! Uh -huh. I do! Let's see how high this place rates on the scarometer. <laughs> Hello! I'm Mr. Angler, the caretaker of this cabin. Did I call that or what? Um, hey there! We're from Camp Lake Bottom and we're kind of lost. You're welcome to spend the night. <sighs> creepy on the inside, creepy on the outside, and on the screamy filling in the middle. Sheesh, talk about laying it on thick. Oh, just what the Terrormeister ordered. Uh, hey, where'd Angler go? Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, a creepy painting with shifty eyes? <laughs> Classic. <laughs> ah! Let me out, let me out, let me out! I, uh, I knew I should have brought undies. Look on the bright side, Squirt. We may be dead by dawn, but we've got a scarific night ahead of us. That's the bright side? <laughs> Just remember the old haunted cabin rule. Don't split up. Sawyer? Uh, anyone notice we're down one zombie? Bonus! We get to go find him by exploring the creepy haunted cabin. Uh, or we could stay put and scream. <laughs> or, uh, uh, uh. Abandoned cabin, peeping painting, sinister yet endearing caretaker. It's like lame horror bingo. Too bad there's nothing scary here like chipmunks. <laughs> okay, not funny, McGee. How'd you like it if this place was full of spiders? Yeah, spiders are gross, but scary? <laughs> Meh. Then how about insane clown? No. Nope. Hook handed killers? Double no. Nope. Evil diaries that foretell doom? Nice try. Wait, evil diaries are a thing? Oh, I think I found my new worst fear. Lights out, squirt. Ah! Wait, wait up, guys! Guys! <laughs> guys! <laughs> Hello, harmless ball of light. Ah! Oh, 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 where am I? Our little squirt followed the ghost light to the evil diary of doom. No! It's a thing! It's a thing! Oh. Ah! Oh, your fear is delicious! <laughs> Toe jam? Yuck. Rusty tricycles? Juvenile. Belly buttons? Got them. Wombats? Need them. Stale waffles? <gasps> Do not go there! What? You're afraid of waffles? Thanks, Gretchen. Now, what does our scare testament win? A one-way ticket to... <gasps> oh, a secret room. Don't you have anything original? Well, I picked up this new wallpaper just 
for you. <laughs> What's the matter, Gretch? Stumped for ID. Gretch? Squirt? Nice try! Ooh, -hoo -hoo -hoo. the horror cliches keep coming. Oh, an ancient burial ground in an attic? Sweet twist! Oh, for me? Oh, you shouldn't have. Just keeping it warm for you. Along with this plate of waffles. W waffles? Yeah, as if. Station <laughs> angler, I'm 100% scareproof. <laughs> Not for long. Now, boys, down! The cabin was built under an ancient burial ground. Um, uh, I, I know it's a no-no, but I just read somebody's diary. The campers knew they would never leave the house. Alive! Ah! And I was ambushed by wall-to-wall -wall chipmunks! Pick that butt to wall! Oh, give me those, lightweights. Haunted horror handled. You're welcome. Good, good, goody. Now, now let's do the one thing no one ever does in a haunted house. Get up! Like it. Except we gotta find Sawyer. Cool! Another chance to explore! This place has more horror cliches than an all-night screamathon. Look, you may not be afraid of anything, but we are. McWaffle. Well, hey, I warned you. You dropped the waffle stuff. Why? Were you scared by a waffle when you were a kid or something? Well. Just forget waffles. You've lost your marbles. <laughs> At last, I've sniffed out your fear. <laughs> so I've ordered you a happy squeal of it to go. <laughs> Bibi, it's Waffle Head Waldo, the Waffle Burger mascot. Giant, sticky. <laughs> no way. Your biggest fear is the Waffle Burger mascot guy. <laughs> He's haunted my nightmare since I was a kid! One waffle delish kids meal, please! Coming up! Your waffles! <laughs> <laughs> Yum! Yum! <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Anything but that! Yum, yum. Your fear is the most delicious of all. <laughs> yum, yum. Ah! Waffle Head Waldo! <laughs> That's right. A screamy part of any balanced meal. Personally, I find his combination of toasty waffle crunch and chewy hamburger center irresistible. Okay, back off! If anyone's gonna taunt McGee with his fears, it's gonna be us! In that case, I'll throw you to a bone. <laughs> 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 This camper buffet angler, zombie style. <laughs> it's, it's good to see a friendly rotting face. Sorry I was gone so long. That chair's bigger than it looks. <gasps> Sawyer, protect me from Waffle and Waldo. <laughs> He's joking, right? Long story. <laughs> hey, if you want McGee, you gotta go through us. What a delicious idea. No more Mr. Nice Waffle. It's feeding time. Hit <laughs> <laughs> for higher ground! Yeah, grab hold, campers! <laughs> 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 Be a good time for a totally implausible yet inexplicably successful plan from Mickey! Cat face the waffle! <laughs> I've been tasting off here all night. Now it's time to feast! Ew, this house is a giant fear-eating monster and angler is the tongue? Gross. I'm impressed, terrified, and disgusted all at the same time. <laughs> I don't know how long I can hang on. I don't know how long my legs can hang on. Help! <laughs> <laughs> 
he can't help. He's a scaredy nana poo poo. Yum, yum, yum. You know, Angler? Waffle Ed Waldo isn't my biggest fear. It isn't? Then what is? Yeah! <laughs> Letting down my pals. <laughs> what are you doing? Taking a bite out of my own fear. <laughs> mm, crunchy waffle and juicy hamburger. Not that. Not that at all. Well, let's sweeten the deal. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't get enough! Stop it! I order you to be afraid! Sorry, Angler! No can do! McGee is back! Yay! Oh, well, this is what I get for playing with my food. Now get out and stay up! So rude! See? That cabin's not so scary. Come on, guys. Let's head home. Lake Bottom's just past that rock. I think. You'll be all set up to break your imaginary record in your made-up surf skating sport. My fictitious enthusiasm is overwhelming. Good to go, McGee. Roll up the thunder, cause here oh. comes the lightning. Ah! Check it! Raging rocket! Ha! Tickle the sun! <laughs> then effortlessly into a lake bottom lock. You mastered the McWipeout. <laughs> Funny, Gretch. Where'd my board go? <gasps> hey there, campers. I'm feeling a little bored. <laughs> Get it? Bored? <laughs> Tickles. <laughs> Oops. Ow. Well, thanks, McGee. No problem, Sawyer. Hey. What's this do, Hickey do? <laughs> it's a junk crusher. Without it, we wouldn't have room for more junk. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw that in. I won this trophy with old Bessie. <sighs> she was my very first and last rally truck. <gasps> Me and my Bessie won every race we entered. She was a firecracker. We were unstoppable until we stopped. <sighs> Feeling a little crushed myself. Wow. That is one sad zombie. Hmm. Uh, what are you doing? When he sees the supercharged hot rod we're gonna build him, he'll forget all about Bessie. Come on, to the workshop! Only if I get to test drive! I call shotgun! Wait, what? why is it called shotgun? <laughs> We're losing it! Oil! I need oil! Ah, much better. Hmm. Headlights? <sighs> the other kind. All right, now we're cooking. Burgers up! Who wants fries? I can't wait to see Sawyer's face when he gets a load of this truck. <laughs> hey, no peeking. Hello. <gasps> I'm glad those days are long gone. <gasps> Bessie? I'm telling you, Bessie's back. First the tracks, then my jacket. She even played our song. There, there. 
It was just a nightmare. That truck was bad news. Remember when she locked you in the glove box? Then melted your tools on her engine block because you drove a bumper car at the fair? Oh, <laughs> memories of a lame old truck got you down? Well, then it's time to play Link Bottom's next top hot rod! Gretchen, show Sawyer what he's won! A brand new ride! Built right here by your race rally pallies! Wow! It's got a steering wheel and everything. Hop in and take her for a spin. <gasps> Did you see that? She winked at me. Not she, it. It's a truck. Wake up. <laughs> Ouch. We just thought you'd like to relive your old rally days. Sorry, but the last thing I want to do is relive my time with old Bessie. Uh, I just remembered. I've got some important work to do over at the soccer field. But Sawyer! Oh, yeah! She's an it. Ah, oh, forget it. Now, once Sawyer sees this baby in action, he won't be able to resist. <laughs> hey, he forgot us. <laughs> Never can have enough soccer balls, right, campers? <laughs> sure, this is way more fun than going for a joyride. <laughs> right, Gretch? Woo who? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Cousin, your chariot awaits. About time. Yes. Uh, I don't. Whose cousin's cousin? I don't know, but I go first ride. Cool, your jet squares. This rocket is the zombie cat's ride. <laughs> My rally jacket and sunglasses. McGee, you shouldn't. Oh, that music again. So familiar. I saw that. No thanks. I'll la, 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 walk. <laughs> I love to walk. I can be walking. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Cool it, Daddy O. You'll come around. Later, Gators. <laughs> Nothing takes your mind off rally trucks like playing in the sand. Oh, yeah, Sawyer. You've totally forgotten Ooh. about trucks. <laughs> hey, 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 big daddy. Cast an eyeball on this glassy jazzy hugging the curves. I do not understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. <gasps> Bessie and me used to dance or drive to a song like that. Not too late to make the scene, Cool Bean. This souped up screamer is real gone for you. Nope, still not getting it. Maybe just a little spin. That's right. Come join your Bessie on Cloud Nine. Leave him alone. He's not interested. <gasps> that was our song. Oh, I knew it. McGee, get out of there now. Whoa, whoa. Where am I? Ah, whoa. No, Bessie, stop. Ah, guys, help. The door won't budge. That's not a regular truck. It's Bessie, Bessie. Whoa. Bessie, Bessie! No, Bessie, stop! <laughs> Kids, McGee's in real danger. Bessie and I broke up because she, she got a bit possessive. As in, she possessed me. Possessed? Whoa, guys, you gotta get me out of here. That's old news, Pops. I'm all Bessie's now. <laughs> I'm in the doghouse now. You kids is next. McGee's stuck on the wrong station. Oh, then let's change his tune. What? Hey, what's with the smash up derby? Help! I'm too young to drive. I never forgot you, Bessie. But you forgot my chainsaw hand! Now let the key go!
this camp! Bessie, you gotta stop this! Woohoo! I'm coming, guys! Hurry, McGee! Bessie's road rage is getting worse. <laughs> I guess your racing days are finally over. Maybe not. Zombie <laughs> 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 switch flip. Saw your squeal. And she. Oh man, that was a kick. Hey, cool cats, who's the square now? Most exciting afternoon ever? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> sure am. What's up? Scorpion tossing? Huh? Lava boarding? Kraken bronco busting? Uh, nope. Even better. Ta da! Welcome to Bleak Beak Island, the ultimate bird watcher's paradise. Yay! And check out my birder's field guide, written by my hero, Dr. Sapstein. Dr. Sapstein, my hero, says birds are the key to unlocking human potential. Did I tell you Dr. Safdine's my hero? Yeah, you may have mentioned it. Noon, the time birds love to poop. You gotta want to see and feel that. It's a Technicolor Diarrhea Rainbow Shower. Ew! Stink pitted nose wrinkler. I'll just check it off in my bird guide. Pocadilly Poot Swallow. Check. <laughs> A red breasted ring ding? Check. Oh, oh, dribbling droopy drawers? Check. Only one bird left. The mocker. No one spotted one in a hundred years. Come on, guys. We got a birdtastic afternoon ahead of us. Wanna see birdtastic? Uh, I'm a big blooded gas blowing tutor. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Gotta work on that landing, tutor. Check out my mocker calling magic. <laughs> that looks more like a burger picking slime beak. I'm gonna try again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The mocker. You're not the mocker. Is that another bird call? Dr. Sapstein, I presume? Of course. Are you the talented bird caller I just heard? That'd be this chatty fellow here. Say hi to your hero, Squirt. Sap! 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 Couldn't have said it better myself. My dear boy, your fluency in Burdenese is extraordinary. You shall have the honor of helping me with my lifelong quest. <gasps> me? Lifelong? I thought 
this was just for an afternoon. My top secret lifelong quest. What's got his pin feathers in a twist? Oh, uh, don't worry, Dr. S. There with me. Very well. With your bird-whispering skills, together we will find the marker. <gasps> this is like a dream come true. Not the one where I have hamsters for hands, the one where I get to work with my hero. Yeah. Well, guess it's lava boarding time. I don't know, McGee. Something about that dock ruffles my feathers. So we are going to do a little bird watching of our own. McGee! McGee! Ooga! Still no marker. Must my genius be denied again and again? I guess that's why I never got bestest helper pin in kindergarten. Bestest helper pin in kindergarten? <gasps> the marker. Okay, satisfied, Gretch? The dog's harmless. He's a wing nut, but harmless. Wing nut. What was that? What was that? Uh, okay, something weird's going on. Something weird. Ah! The marker? Hmm, fungus. Twigs with a faint hint of marker berries. The number one food of the marker. <gasps> we are so close, I can taste it. I would taste it, but I, I promised my mom I wouldn't anymore. It's harder than plaque to get off your teeth. Naha! A quintessential marker den. Hurry, Squirt! Use your birdie sense and lead me to it! Gah! McGee munched a million mounds of minutely minced millipedes! A million mounds of minutely minced millipedes! This bird can do anybody! Oh, how about Sapstein? <laughs> See, I'm not the only one creeped out by Sapstein. Now follow that bird! Ooh. Yes! Yes! The marker must be close now. I can feel it in my feather... Ah! <laughs> Fingertips. <gasps> Very unusual species. Nothing like this in the guide. <laughs> hold on, hold on. One at a time, Bernese is my third language. <laughs> what? A, a mad scientist did this to you? And, and he's right behind me? <gasps> You were supposed to find the marker, not my failed experiments. Easy, easy. We're the good guys, not like old Doc Sapstein. Sapstein! Sapstein! <laughs> but, but, Dr. S, your book says birds are our friends. The key to unlocking human potential. Humans? <laughs> birds are far superior. Now find me my marker! Unhand our pal, you quack! You quack! You quack! <gasps> A marker! Oh, no! Finally, the marker is mine. So this is what my grandma's budgie feels like, huh? <laughs> now that I've got the marker, I have no need of you, you beak brain. But you're my hero! <laughs> My boy, you still can. <laughs> Gene position synchronizer, mitosis amplifier, mood lighting, <laughs> and one pesky marker. Soon my transformation to Birdman will be complete. <laughs> you did all this so you could be a Birdman? But my sweet child, it already has. <gasps> the only thing that was missing was my ability to fly. But once I add the marker's DNA to my genetic code, I'll be soaring in the skies and pooping on statues. Huh? <laughs> Too bad you won't survive the process. You won't get away with it, Sappy! We'll see about that. Let the transfer begin. Bye-bye, Birdie. Uh, 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 it can't be impossible! Well, it is possible that I'm here and I didn't fall off a cliff. Birds of a feather flock together! <laughs> <laughs> Feeling 
the pressure, you know. Hey! Squirt, give me a big-blooded gas-blowing tutor! Gas-blowing tutor? Right! <laughs> Supposed to fly, not you! <laughs> Time for you guys to fly the coop! Bullseye! Thanks, Squirt! Ah! <laughs> Looks like I have to clip some wings. <laughs> 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 ah! oh, you little traitor! Takes one to know one. Need a hand, McGee? No, but I could use a glove. Ah! Ooh, you can't stop my unbeatable bird brain. <laughs> I'm flying! At last, I'm flying! Sure are, but that's one wide load. Huh? You and the mocker made a mockery of my plans! The mockery, I say! Mockery? Yeah, that's mockery. kind of what we do. Ah! I'll pluck you to pieces! Incoming! Ah! Now you see us, now you don't. But my keen bird ears can hear you. Guys, in here! He'll never find us! Why not? How wrong you are! <laughs> You can say that again, Mocker. Say that again. Caged! Caged like a common bird! I... I am just like a bird. A real birdie! At last! Ah, <laughs> <sighs> uh, Sorry your hero turned out to be a loon squirt. Dr. Safstein may have let me down, but he can't hurt any birdie now. Good, because bird watching is way more awesome than I thought. Up, up, and away! Up, up, and away! <laughs> Nothing's as relaxing as watching deadly explosions of fire. Ah. Oh, 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 this is it! Here comes the boom boom! Hold on to all your butts! Already on it! Yeah! Let's get this party erupted! Ha -ha. Nice! Oh, man, total lava letdown. Never underestimate Mount Fit to Boom! <gasps> Intense? Huh? Oh. Wow! Uh, uh, Gretcherson! You had me at binoculars. Oh, uh, that, that line! I, I know that line! Yes! I mean, it's just our favorite movie of all time! <laughs> when crime is too far away to see, it's, it's time, time to, to get some binoculars! binoculars. Will you look at that, sweetheart? It seems as if we've got some fans. Only your biggest fans? You're our favorite action movie star couple! Huh. I'm the Gritchison's biggest fan. I even have a tattoo. It's on my body. Stay out of their sight, Armand. We don't want to scare the humans. Oh, please. What's so frightening about us? Right. Not that we're complaining, but why are you guys visiting Camp Lake Bottom anyway? To see our precious daughter, of course. Gretchy Kim. Gretchy Kim? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. And then there's this. I sleep there. Those are Squirt McGee's bunks. That's a shrunken head, spider eggs, the usual. Interesting. 
Smells like the set of Invasion of the Mold Men from Mars. What? Welcome to Lake Bottom Macaroni Lays, our tradition. Yeah? Since when? Well, let's see. Since super awesome movie stars started coming to our camp, so today? Oh. Mickey, could you give it a rest? Oh, don't worry. We're used to it, dear. Make sure you get my good side. Where is that music coming from? We had sound systems added to our formal way. It just made sense. <laughs> okay, Gretch, what is the deal here? You are embarrassing us in front of your parents. Oh, and speaking of that, why didn't you tell us? Oh, come on, Gretch. The ants would live for your parents' movies. Like Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 4? Or Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 5, the re-sharkening? Come on. Both classics in the giant shark versus human genre. Sorry. Personally, I can't stand all that Hollywood nonsense. Whoa. Nonsense? What are you saying? <laughs> and that's what you get for invading the White House. Ah, oh, now that brings back memories. Did you know that shark had a black belt in Taekwondo dorsal fin? Dad, Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 5 was just a movie. Can't we all talk about real people stuff for once? Real people stuff? Gretch, we talked about this. Stop giving your father frown lines. If I didn't know you better, I'd think you didn't want a visit from your action stars. Uh, you mean parents? No, that's exactly what I said. Oh, happens every time. <laughs> Someone call for parent participation. Stand up straight, dear. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. I'm patented by my own folks. Aw, oh, there, there, Gretch. I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow! That was just like spin kick and spin kick party six, Mrs. G. My turn! <laughs> Best spin kick inflicted in turtle rupture ever. That's it. I'm so out of here. <gasps> oh, what's with Gretchikins now? <coughs> hey, this is just like the set of Killer Cough Cloud 5. <laughs> <laughs> Gretchy Wetchy, is that you? <laughs> Can I get an autograph? A lock of hair, an extra kidney, perhaps anything? I'm your biggest fan! Ah! Okay, this is gonna be just like the final scene in Spin Kick Party 6. And oh, and don't be afraid to go for the Gritcherson eyeball crush. You got it! And watch out for the Gritcherson larynx twist, too! Have you seen Armand? You know how fan crazy Armand is. I hope he isn't chasing after the Gritcher's pants. Oh, don't worry. The Gritchersons can totally handle one crazy fanboy. <laughs> Gretz's folks are running scared. Straight for Mount Fit to Blow. And it's Fit to Blow. Oh, now I get it. Oh, the Gritchersons? Scared? That's impossible! They, they played every kind of hero that's ever existed! That's it! Squirt! They must be researching roles for a movie! Come on, remember how scared they pretended to be in Giant Gator 7? <laughs> You've been accessorized! <laughs> Come on, Squirt! Those two acting geniuses are grinchersoning into the hilt, and we're missing it! Mom? Dad? Here we go again. Huh? Oh, see? I told you the Grinchersons could handle fanboy Armand. Uh-huh. Looks like a textbook Grinchersons larynx twist to me. Actually, I slipped in a puddle of the Grinchersons' fierce knot as they were desperately running away. <gasps> oh, and all I wanted was a few pics of them for my celebrity scrapbook. According to Gritchopedia, the Gritchersons practice kung fu yoga, 
don't eat pineapple and poop 400 times a year. But it never said anything about running from fans! That's because it's acting, Squirt. If we split up, I bet we can find them before they wrap. <laughs> That's Hollywood talk. Come on! <laughs> Ran whatever that was. Time for a peace spot check. All clear. You too. Oh, nice work, dear. There you are. It's dinner time. <laughs> well, don't you want any of my famous stone soup? <laughs> Sorry! I loved you guys in Screaming Zombie Stompers 3D. Oh, how ironic. Get it off me! Get oh! it off me! Oh! <laughs> Look, it's Gretchen Kids! Gretchen Kids! Gretchen Kids has come to save us! Gretchen Kids! <sighs> Please, get us out of here. So, it's true? You weren't just acting scared? But. But you wrestled sharks! You you fought mutant gators! You crashed a jet to get here! <sighs> Guess it's up to old Gretchenkins to set the story straight. Again. Oh, I don't do slimy. Stunt double! <laughs> you knew this whole time? Sure. You sent stunt doubles to all my birthday parties because you didn't trust the candles. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, guys. None of this would have happened if you acted like normal parents, even if you are the world's biggest cowards. You're so right, dear. Oh, Squirt, look at me. We can still love their movies, right? Even if the Christiansons are the world's biggest coward. <laughs> no, we can't. Ah, uh, yeah. Can't. Now, let's go before Mount Fit to Blow explodes. You can act not scared better than anybody! Okay, I can do that. And action! Thanks for saving us. Oh, and by the way, I did notice you borrowed the rescue scene from Lava Luau the Third. So you have seen your parents' movies, Gretch? Oh, only like a trillion times. See, I told you, you could act not scared better than any- ah! <sighs> Oh, this is so going in the scrapbook! Crazy strong. <laughs> Whoa, you are kidding! <sighs> the Sasquatch's armpit musk is his pride and joy. Only the squatchiest Sasquatch can make a rabid skunk weep in agony at 20 paces. I can't take it! I can't take it! Namaste! Oh no, don't go, Armand! You gotta show us more amazed tastic Sasquatch stuff! Oh, rip my arm off! It's okay, I have another one! Some feats of Sasquatchness have to remain secret, campers. If you knew how much human skull crushing power we Sasquatches had, you'd be in big trouble. Well, namaste! <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> Pretend you didn't see that. So, here's the plan. We portal to a Sasquatch dimension to meet cool Sasquatches who aren't afraid to show off real skull-crushing power. Okay, we're about to enter the portal. Please keep arms and legs out of the interdimensional aisle. Portal bar oh, next. Just get on with it already. Right. Everyone think Sasquatch. <laughs> Less crushed skulls than I thought. Hey, are you guys sure you all thought Sasquatch? Uh, McGee, is it too late to think nice Sasquatch? <laughs> I, ow! Easy with the giant toothpicks. Ugh. Humans. I thought we got rid of all those. <gasps> Sunny smiles? Sunny smiles? No! Oh, you dirty Sasquatches! You blew it up before I could? Mm. Ow! Silence! The king approaches. Uh... Yes, it's me, your beloved King Armand. Hey, Armand! Ow! Ow! Would you stop that? We know him! You look like my old king. Campers. Sometimes I wish I never ate them. That McGee stew gave me terrible gas pain. <laughs> I forgot how hilariously terrified you humans could be. In memory of my long digested campers, I, King Armand, hereby decree that these human lookalikes be spared. <laughs> Not eat humans? The king's getting soft. Gods, take my new human slaves to my throne room. Ooh, throne room. Sounds classy. Lonely mermaid, late bottom dimension. Here comes our No, no, no. See, oh? I don't want to scrub out Sasquatch litter boxes forever. <gasps> Was that McGee? What's he doing in the pot? Sasquatch litter boxes? You know, as fabulous as that sounds, something isn't right here. <laughs> My stars. <laughs> Pardon me, I... Oh, please forgive me, King Armand. Ooh, and you brought chocolates. You know, those weren't exactly for you. I... All hail, King Armand. Oh, King Armand. But well, now this sounds like an interesting dimension. And then the Sasquatch says, Hey, that's not a Sasquatch. That's my wife. Oh, come on. <laughs> Tough crowd. Aw, uh, don't complain. I'm on Squatch for detangling duty next. Guys, it's not that bad. <laughs> Finally, a place where my foot rubbing skills are appreciated. <laughs> Careful, I tickle easily. What happened to you, Kingy? The Armand I know is a fun loving, happy go lucky. <laughs> I, too, remember how I acted before defeating you humans. <laughs> what a ninny. I was... <laughs> what does a king have to do for more peeled figs? <laughs> oh, now I get the whole King Armand thing. Hmm, interdimensional portal travel is so confusing. Armand, you came to save us! All right, Armand! I knew I forgot something. The kids are coming with me. You think you, uh, me, can waltz in from another dimension and start giving orders? Although I love what you've done with your fur. Oh, you. I mean, me. <laughs> gotcha. Now, I'll let you go if you let us go back to Lake Bottom. What kind of pathetic Sasquatch is a servant to humans? I'm more Sasquatch than you could ever Sasquatch. Then prove it! If I win, I take the campers home. When I win, the humans will remain slaves forever! And you will be ritualistically shame-shaved. Challenge accepted. To determine who is top Squatch, we will begin the Sasquatch Skills of... Yay, King Armand! 
I am a kingly squatch, oh so very manly squatch. No other squatch compares. Look at my lovely hair. La 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 I rule this land. Yay, King Armand! That's King! A lovely squatch. My fur is grand and my feet are large. Me, 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 me. I, me, me, me. Everyone must adore me. Yeah! <laughs> I had no idea. Armand can sing so beautifully. <laughs> Ooh. Hands off the fine art. Whoa. Such realism. Daring, provocative, messy, bravo! And that's halftime! We Sasquatches love our halftime shows, so this had better be good. <clears throat> uh, glad to be here! <laughs> Can anybody tell me, uh, what is the deal with Yetis, huh? I mean, yetis eat humans like this. <laughs> but Sasquatches eat humans like this. <laughs> Could you please pass the Dijon? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, because it's true. <laughs> Still more Sasquatch than you. Ditto! But reversed. That's great. You sure this will work? Trust me. If there's one thing I know, it's foot rubbing. Here are the standings of the Royal Sasquatch Skill Zone. King Armand! One! Inferior Armand. One. And now, for our final winner-take-all event, the Moonwalk Race. Do your stuff! <laughs> I have been outsquatched. Other dimension Armand and his pet humans may leave this dimension in safe. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Thank you, King Armand. You're a Sasquatch among Sasquatches. Come on, campers. Let's go home. Here you go. I also do weddings and squatch mitzvahs. All right, call me, text, whatever. <laughs> Sasquatch take backsies! Get them! Get them all! Hey, what's the deal? Armand was the squatchiest squatch, fair and square. That's it? The squatchiest Armand? Show these clowns what true squatchiness really smells like. <laughs> no fair. I smell too. Come on, smell me! Never smelled such pungent musk before. You are truly the Sasquatch King. All hail Armand! I'll pass, guys. I'm no king. I'm just a Sasquatch who hasn't developed a taste for humans. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Kidding! <laughs> now we can go. to be clever. I gotta cool down. I just gotta. Uh-huh. Oh. Sorry. 
This coolness is taken. Oh. <sighs> I knew I was a hottie, but come on! Big way! Hot sand! Hot sand! Cannonball! <laughs> Refreshing! <laughs> Maybe I can interest you in a cool breeze. Oh, feels delightful. Uh, yeah. I'll pass. Aha! I know where I can cool down. In Rosebud's meat locker. Occupied. <laughs> Sorry. What a whiff. Spectacular day, huh, McGee? I feel so alive! Uh, just a figure of speech. <laughs> hey, how's Sawyer keeping cool? Just a dab to cool my bones. Not one dab more, or I'll explode. Now that's a cautionary poem for anyone who might be watching me use this. <sighs> totally delightful, Flutter Eye. Hope I didn't miss any cautionary poetry. Ooh. Refreshing. <sighs> Hyperhydrosil prevents total zombie body rot due to dried out sweat glands. Hmm. May contain tea tree oil and dried vomit flakes. Ew! <laughs> tea tree oil? <laughs> huh. Ooh, tingly cool! <sighs> and all from one tiny little Significant dab. Hmm. <laughs> oh, imagine how good a cool misty sea breeze would feel right now. <laughs> hey, it actually worked. Thank you, imagination. Yeah, and thank you, cool miss. You are both very welcome. Oh, no! Oh, yep. ah! mm, salty. Hey, I can't help cooling people off. Probably because of my cool personality. Or that zombie hyper sweat cream. You know one. No! I can taste the armpit! <laughs> All I know is the more I sweat, the more my body cools itself off. It's science! It's sweat science! And you can't argue with sweat science. I've tried. I'll just prove your theorem one day, sweaty abacus! Oh, yeah. Who needs water when you have a sweat shower complete with selection of sweaty settings? <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> Told you I could feel the cabin! <laughs> High five! Oh, whoa. whoa. Oh, I'm feeling a little dizzy. No, Mickey. You're leaking like a busted latrine. And you smell worse. You can't stop sweating! Look! Shows you what you know. See? I can stop sweating whenever I... Uh, 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 squirt! A uh, little help? I'm on it! <sighs> ah, this is so not cool! I made sure I feel cool, but oh, you know what I mean! No, ah! oh, no, 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 no! I'm afraid of where the sweat's gonna come out next! Well, I guess that explains this. Only zombies are supposed to use hypohydrazil because we don't sweat. If McGee doesn't stop sweating, and soon, he'll dry up and go full raisin. Uh, that's a zombie medical term, by the way. Huh? Oh, huh. It's starting! <laughs> Gotta keep you nice and hydrated. Welcome to the hyperhydrazil helpline. Thank you for holding. Please press one now if you'd like to order an I Love Hyperhydrosil t-shirt. If you've ignored our cautionary poem and are experiencing a case of full raisining, please press two now for the location of the nearest antiperciment tree. The only known cure for excessive oversweating. You must head into the forest. That's right near here! Let's go! Hello? Hyperhydrosil helpline? Um, uh, one t-shirt, please. Wow! That was way more convenient
different than I thought. No! But Squat? What are you doing? If you don't mind, I'm clear-cutting valuable anti-persimmon here. Why would you want anti-persimmon? <gasps> but Squat, do you also suffer from oversweating? Romeo! Romeo! Romeo? Hello? Forsooth! I am... Uh... I am... Uh... It's, it starts with an R line. Rhymes with polio. I say it all the time. What's my line? <gasps> Easy, butt squad. Keep cool. You know what happens if you lose your... <laughs> Romeo needs a deodorant to you. <laughs> <sighs> After the Sunny Smiles Theater reviewer called the performance Romeo and Julie Sweat, I vowed nothing would make me sweat again. Don't be ashamed. <laughs> Wait! You're uh, not planning to use all that anti are you, Butt Squad? I mean, I'm just asking in a breezy, casual, um, I don't need it oh so very desperately kind of way. Oh, I'm taking every little bit I can get, and this is why. Ah! Oh, phew, another layer. <laughs> that was close. What are those things anyway, Butt Squad? Ice cube making undies, my primary cooling off device. But the heat blew their delicate undie fuses. That's when I started hoarding anti-persimmon. <gasps> Butt Squad, please! Please don't take all that anti-persimmon, because McGee needs some, too. <gasps> you? An over-sweater? I... <sighs> As you can clearly see, every over-sweater knows it's not his fault. He's so disgusting. True. So, share the anti-persimmon, so McGee doesn't go... Full reason! <laughs> What do you know? The stereo still works. Oh, also. No anti-persimmon for you! Now beat it, sweat bag! <laughs> no! I need that anti-persimmon! No. Give me! Hand it over! It's mine! Oh, it's totally on. mine! Ew! You're so wet and sweaty! You're paying to dry clean my hanky and my remote. <laughs> no, no! Make me sweat. You wouldn't like me when I sweat. <laughs> sure thing, Julie Sweat. <laughs> yeah, we should have expected that. <sighs> Hi. What's the deal, Butt Squat? That was a big, sweaty mistake. Again. I'm on hold with the Hyper Hydrosil helpline. Thank you for holding. Your order has been processed. Your I Love Hyper Hydrosil t shirts are uh, shipped in. T shirts? <laughs> I've been on hold for six hours for t shirts? We'll all be the coolest guys in camp. <laughs> you get it? Cool. <laughs>
Ugh. Phew, all done. Ugh. Nice, but it's blocking my sun. Can you move it a smidge? Thanks. <laughs> Behold the Magic Hamper Deluxe! Ultimate Hamper Camper. You call that camping, butts not? Well, you losers are picking sand out of your shorts, I'll be sleeping like a king. <laughs> Even kings can't avoid the flash sandstorms in the dunes of doom. The pharaoh King Tutan Dudu lost his queen in a sandstorm, and he's been looking for her ever since. Whoa, talk about obsessive boyfriends. Lame! I'll tell you what's not lame. My amazing home theater with 20.1 surround sound. Later, bottom smellers. Anyways, as I was saying... <gasps> what I tell ya? <gasps> Flash sandstorms. Well, better get digging. Anyone remember that being there yesterday? Cool! Tootin Doodoo's Pyramid! It's been buried for over a thousand years! So stay clear, campers! Whoa! This place is crazy! Uh, no. We're crazy to be in here. This place reminds me of my grandma's basement. Only less damp and dirty. Cool! cool. Let's look around! Hi, new bony pal! Hello! Woo. What? Did I miss something? Uh, more like something just missed you. Okay, um, before we explore, I gotta use a little boy's room. <laughs> you couldn't have thought of that before we left? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Ah! I'm done, I'm done, I'm done! My name is Bony Bill. This place is creepy. Let's go exploring! Uh, first you might want to explore the bottom of your shoe. Ew! Ew! Yuck! Woohoo! <coughs> a pyramid! And where there's a pyramid, there's treasure! <laughs> oh! Check it out! Egyptian comic strips! They're hieroglyphics! That must be Tootin' Doodoo's queen. Hey, she kind of looks like you, Gretchen. Gretchen, queen, as if. Oh, wait, now I see the resemblance. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the look on your faces, bottom screamers. But That's squat. what? So where's the treasure in this dump? Mm -hmm. ah! Yeah, nice try, butt splurt. Wasn't me, McGeek. <laughs> Now that we are reunited, we shall be together forever. Your throne, my queen. Ow! Okay. Cool. 
Oh, does it come with a crown? Cause I'm liking all this so far. Isn't it great? Gretchen's really a queen. Ooh, thrilling. All hail Queen Gretch. Ahem, <clears throat> feeling a distinct lack of fanning here. Come, let me show you the rest of your palace. Hey, what's going on out there? King Tootenpoop thinks Gretchen's his queen and she's gone all dopey for him. Just like in the Egyptian comics. But how come she's being wrapped in bandages in that panel? Because Tootenfart wants to turn Gretchen into a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Your friends wanted to go exploring. Without me? That's so not cool. I will never abandon you, like ever. Free <gasps> treasure! Free treasure! It's mine! All mine! Stamped it, double locked it, no erases! Who cares? We gotta stop Tootenbert before he shrink wraps Gretchen forever! Oh, she's a queen. She's fine. Ooh, come to Buddy. <laughs> no! He could be a trap! <laughs> <sighs> Ooh, Magoopo is afraid of an itty bitty bug. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Shh! I got this. Ta da! All, but I better go find the guys. My queen, you cannot leave. It is time for your coronation. About time a crown showed up. Susie's gonna be so jealous. And now you will be mummified so we can be together like forever. Cool. Wait, what? No way, Bandage Boy. Your queen is calling in quits. <gasps> Let me out of here. Pottery again. Gretchen! Tootenkopf's trying to turn you into a mummy! You think? It's a story of why you shouldn't go into that pyramid. Great story, Sawyer. And you're totally right. You okay, Gretch? King Tootin' Doodoo sure knew how to treat a girl. Except for the whole seal me in a tomb for eternity thing. <laughs> I'll take that! King Bot rules! Uh, anyone see where 
I parked my camper? <gasps> that reminds me of the legend of the lost camper. terrifying thing are we gonna do today, McGee? Uh, McGee? <laughs> but McGee? You, you still in bed? <laughs> ah! Seriously? You look horrible. Way to make a guy feel good. Oh, trust me. You look anything but good. Oh, oh come on. Look at me. I'm as healthy as a racehorse. <laughs> Giddy up. Well, this little racehorse isn't going to win any races anytime soon. It's time to get the counselors. But I'm not sick. First thing is to take the little camper's temperature. Here you go. But I'm not sick. <coughs> hey, that hurts. His head seems a little squishy squashy. <laughs> Moldy socks, a rotten toe jam, and just a hint of dead skunk. It could be the dangleberry virus. Yeah, his head would have popped off by now. Hey! Ow! Ew! Fat, it's just a summer cold. Plenty of sleep and chicken doo-doo soup. I don't want to sleep. Plus, I'm thinking chicken doo-doo soup would probably taste kind of poopy. Sorry, camper. You're staying in bed till further notice. You're not going to miss out on anything. Right, Squirt? Just boring stuff like swimming, snorkeling, spelunking, hang gliding, banshee baiting, tarantula tipping, hurricane diving, harpy hurling. Just give us a little ring-a-ding. <laughs> Bell. Right. Okay, see you later. Just testing. <laughs> Good one. Ring if you need us. Ring. Can you close the curtains, Arbonne? The sun is in my eyes. No, 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 not all the way. That's too open. No, too close. Too open. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. Mm hmm. Um. If the cold doesn't take you out, I will. <laughs> I'm not sick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I can't stand it in here anymore. Wait for me. <laughs> Check out the Gretchen Super Salt. <laughs> Water is awesome. <laughs> Check me out. I'm totally better! Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're rocking those nose tusks. Sure, maybe there's a few stragglers still hanging on. I think my towel would disagree. Make room for the McGee boom! <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm in tip-top shape. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look out! He's gonna blow a nostril! <laughs> oh no! I'm stuck! I accept my destiny. <laughs> I will name you Rosebum! <gasps> Not books! It's time for... The bubble. <gasps> Not the, the bubble. bubble. Did someone say bubbles? Not that kind of bubble. Since 
a certain snotty camper won't stay in bed. You must stay in the quarantine bubble. Now we let you rest. Oh, but I'm all better, I tell you. <laughs> oh. My hamster? Mr. Stinky had a ball like that? He bounced down the stairs and threw up in it. Poor Mr. Stinky. Now lay down and go to sleep. He'll be fine. And so will we, as long as he stays in that bubble. Ah, no, but I'm not sick. Could a sick person do this? No! Uh, no! Uh, I'm just a little stuffed up. Ah! Gretchen! Squirt! Anybody! What is it now, sicky? Something slimy and yucky's looking at me at the window! Nothing. You sure you're not looking at your reflection? I'm not making this up. <gasps> there. 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 Just it. No more sicky games. Oh. I think his snot's backed up into his brain. Then he better be careful when he blows his nose. Well, it must be sicker than I thought. <laughs> oh, enough with the bell already! My masterpiece! Guys, guys! Oh, what a baby! It's just a little cold. Get in here, help! Open up, you stupid bubble! Huh? Uh, that does it! Time to roll! Whiniest patient ever. Ah! I can roll, but I can't hide! He thinks that there's a monster after him, but it's not. <laughs> what is he doing out of bed? Come on, campers, help me get him back to his cabin. It's the club! The club is real! That's what I've been trying to tell you! I command you to stop! Ready, please? Ah! Sorry, McGee, we gotta go. Ah! Huh? It's only after McGee? It's only after McGee! Heads up, Spurt! Wow! Back to you, Gretch! Naughty <laughs> ah! in the middle! Ah! Bus is all this racket! Wow! <laughs> Club! If you want our campers, you have to go through me! Please don't take that literally. Oh, oh hey, Armand. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In the mess hall, hurry! I'm stuck. I got this. Corner kick! Oh, no! Go! Oh. Ah. Barricade the doors while I rustle up some weapons. It's okay. We're safe in here. Oh, more like trapped. Ah, <laughs> Nothing like chicken doodle -doo soup to take down a cord. <laughs> hey, let go, you slimy slug. Hey, Rosebud. Oh, yummy. Chicken doodle -doo soup. Rosebud! <laughs> Prepare to get wiped, booger breath. <laughs> nice snot, monster. Nice, disgusting snot. <laughs> 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 hear about the first three. It's all over. All over everything. Ah. Ah. Come on, are you kidding me? Oh, I'll never get rid of this cold. 
I guess it's kind of lonely outside my nose, huh? All this time, you just wanted to come home? Oh, I can't stand to see a snot glob suffer. <laughs> time for Betty Bob. I'm coming, I'm coming! You guys are so needy. If you could bring some toast with a dab of honey. This is not the place I want to be right now. It's time to blow this joint. Ah! <laughs> It's time to run the play. Here it comes. He shoots. <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite. The outside game is over. Time for inside game. I call washing the dishes. The dishes? No fair. That's the worst game ever. Remember, this is not the fun toy. So, have fun, <laughs> but not Mr. Sinkos. Rosebud's right. This isn't a fun toy. It's a super fantastic fun toy. Don't even think about it, McGee. Well, think about what? This <laughs> or this? <laughs> or maybe a little bit of this? <laughs> Incoming! Look at me! I'm Santa Claus! <laughs> You can run, but you can't hide. Who's hiding? My turn! <laughs> oh. ah. Hey! Get ready for the rinse cycle. Squirt wins. Is it just me, or is that trunk acting kind of weird? Should we open it? What's that, Gretchen? <sighs> What's in it? Uh, it just looks like old junk. Water! I need water! Oh. It's a mermaid! What is a mermaid doing in a trunk? Who cares? It's a mermaid! Enough! I mean, a light mist is fine. My name's Esmeralda, the, um, really nice mermaid. Why are you in a trunk? Well, Rosebud and I are old friends, and I'm here to surprise her. Were you hibernating? Sure. Could you, perchance, take me to a lake? Yes, we can. Hey, guys, check this out. Unhand that at once! <clears throat> I apologize. That's, uh, the gift I got for Rosebud. I just want to make sure it doesn't get lost. We can totally for sure take you to see Rosebud. No! I need time to prepare her surprise. I would hate to ruin it. And no one else can see me either, or they might tell her. Okay, secret trip to the lake it is then. All clear. What's it like being a mermaid? Great. Are there mermen? No. Can I be a merman? No. When we get to the lake, do you want to play basketball? Sure. How do you go to the bathroom? Ew, gross question. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Uh, sorry, mermaid tails are surprisingly slippery. Hang on, I have an idea. Has anyone seen my underwear? Hurry up before he sees us. Water, I need water, water you little darlings. Wait here, I'll be right back. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> hmm, something's wrong with the water pressure. Have you seen my underwear? Water? 
Ta-da! Have no fear, Squirt is here! Give it to me, you fool! <laughs> okay, okay! Enough with the hose! Uh, uh, I mean, thank you for the refreshing spritz. Wait, I forgot something. Say seaweed! <laughs> Well, that's not something you see every day. I know. Slimy usually takes the bus. Thanks for setting me free, fools! <laughs> We're still on for basketball, right? <laughs> She's on your team. <laughs> but I thought you were here to surprise Rosebud. Fools! Soon this entire camp and everyone in it will be mine, including Rosebud! Too bad you can't leave the water, flippy, flippy, feet, fishy, flipper! Okay, so that's not my best burn, but uh, you get the point. But I don't have to. Rise! Rise! Once the camp is flooded, there will be nowhere for you to hide. I recognize that tail thwap anywhere. We've got mermaid trouble. But how did she get out of the tonk? <laughs> oh, figures. Esmeralda! I stopped your reign of terror once, and I will do it again. And you won't stop me this time. This time, I will rule the world! No! Musa! Trun! What's a trun? Ah! Oh, drunk! Quickly! Silence! Huh? <laughs> Locker and get whatever diving gear you can find. We're going to the Trun. What's going on? Where's Rosebud? Table Mermaid! Rosebud's an eel! Flood! Take over the world! Looks like we got bigger problems than your lost underwear. You guys stop the water and save the camp. We're going to fight the mermaid and rescue Rosebud. Yeah! How much of that did you get? Not much. Then let's do it. Book of Evil Creatures. Let's see. Marshmallow Man, Maniacal Clown, you know, Maids, comma, disgruntled. Aha! Mermaids! What's it say? What's it say? Some breathing room, please! Thank you. To defeat an evil mermaid, you must catch her and dry her out? How are we gonna do that when she's flooding the whole camp? Hey, guys! Look what I found! Rosebud, we're coming to save you! We better hurry! I think it's working. I think you're right. Ah, so cute. Wait, did McGee say there was a mermaid? Evil mermaid. Well, you won't get away with this. Oh, don't be so crabby. Ah! I wonder, could I have something a little less, um, pinchy? Ah! So cute. Nah. I have some pesky children to deal with. What shall I turn them into? <laughs> Even if we find her, how are we going to get her out of the water? We just need to figure out a way to get her in the air. I got it! Remember the balloons from Sawyer's Happy Being Dead for Another Year Day? Yes. Good party. I like that cake. Let's get the air tank and the biggest balloon we can find. I have a plan that just might be crazy enough to work. Looks like I've got you in a dead end. Well, I guess we'll just have to see about that. Now! <laughs> Hate to pop your balloon, kitties. Well, that went well. No problem. I have another plan that's even crazier. We'll use this rope to lasso her around the tail, and then once we have her tied up, we... 
figure it out from there. Sounds good to me. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Now! <laughs> to join us for a game of basketball. Come on, Squirt. Leave them alone, you big stinky fish. I am not a fish! So you're just stinky then? <laughs> I'm here, fish breath. Catch me if you can. Are you chicken of the sea? <laughs> Spin it to win it! Ah! Release me at once! No! You turn my friends into sea creatures! Officially waterproof. Perfect. Oh. Looks like somebody needs to finish the dishes. Oh, but first is basketball. Hey, Sawyer, catch! Oh. Nice shot. Look what I found. No sense of humor. Booyah! Green vines meet black belt. <laughs> Little bro in for the big sister save! <laughs> Jumping geraniums. My pot plant. Must be my green thumb. Or it's all that irradiated latrine slurry I've been feeding it. <laughs> <laughs> And green. Music soothes the savage fern. So do power tools. <laughs> Save from being crowned, little Miss Plant Food. Oh, and you're welcome. Oh, and for what? Chipping my nail? I am so telling Mom and Dad. <gasps> Treachery! <laughs> it's okay, she's kidding. Because not even Susie would... Hey, that's our song! Was our song till you wrecked our act. I'm Susie. I'm McGee. We're as can be. To sing and dance together, together like one day. <laughs> um, it was an accident. <laughs> really, really funny. You won't find it so funny, because this means Mom and Dad are visiting today. They are coming, and when they see this freaky camp, you are going. <gasps> I can't believe Susie could be so evil, mean, nasty, vindictive. There's only one word I care about right now, and it's stop my sister. Okay, people, Operation Parent Proof is a go! Sawyer, hide your spare parts. Rosebud, cook something normal. Squirt, animal control. Let's play a little game called Hide and... Actually, it's just called Hide. And I shall impress your parentals with my impeccable plies. Um, sure, as long as it's from your super secret hiding spot. What? Why must I conceal myself? 
Fine. But just remember, you're missing out on this. You ready to fail? You ready to fall? So this is Lake Bottom. Daddy! McGee's being mean to me! Oh, I'm sure he didn't mean it, Peanuts. After all, you're family. Oh, I want to squeeze you till your heads pop off like dandelions. <laughs> Why did you get so huggy? <laughs> <laughs> Say, where's the rest of the gang? They're dying to meet you, too. <whistles> Mom? Dad? This is everybody. Not everybody, McGee. Where's Armand? Um, gone fishing? All right, cheetah pants. Do you have any queens? A pleasure to make your acquaintance, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Please, call us Mom and Dad. <gasps> you bet. Put her there, Dad. Oh. <laughs> the old rememberable arm prank. <laughs> Classic Sawyer. Honey, Sawyer knows the secret gardener ante handshake. <laughs> You're like two peas in a pod. <laughs> really? Okay, clocks are ticking, everyone. And we want you to see everything. Oh, they'll see everything all right. Lake Icky Gloomy. Ugly name, but beautiful, totally non-toxic lake. Something smells fishy here. And it's not just Squirt's breath. Mm, I can't believe how full of nutrients this water is. Everything you need to grow big, strong, and green. Don't you mean healthy? Of course. What did you think I said? Uh, speaking of a totally different topic, who's up for lunch, huh? But, Dad, didn't you see the... I like your parents. They're weird. Ugh. Here's your mac and cheese. Ah, cheese! Where's the regular food? Face. Uh, My bad, sees Dig in! Harold, this food is... Totally gross, right? The most delicious thing I've ever put in my stomata. <gasps> stomata. Italian is such a beautiful language. Are your parents usually this, um... If by, um, you mean surprisingly cool, then no. But I'll take it. Next on the tour, the outhouse. Our usual post-lunch stop. McGee! This trail is lovely and secluded. Yes, you could scream and scream and no one would hear you. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't McGee's parents, that would sound totally creepy. But you are, so it's not. What? It's wrong with you people. This place is so gross. Zombies! <laughs> Zombie-utiful. Ah! Ah! Dad, don't move! But why? Because I gotta get a picture. <laughs> Say coconuts. McGee's parents used to be weird, but now they're kind of strange. Yeah. Ah! 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 A rose butt butt? Welcome to the family. McGee's real parents. We gotta warn McGee. <laughs> this ride I'm thinking is delightful. <laughs> no one is this lucky. It isn't luck. They actually like Lake Bottom. How cool is that? If you think they're so cool, why don't you cool off at home where everybody's so cool? Cool? Oh, cool it, Suze. I'm gonna chill here no matter how frosty you make it. Stop making ice puns. Go home. No, you go home. You go home. You go home. I said it first, go home. No, you go, go home. home. I'm not even listening to you. Mickey, I know you can hear me. Go home, go home, go home, go home, go home. Those two sure can go at it. <laughs> well, one sec, Mom and Dad. Gotta show these pesky pod plants who's boss. <laughs> Sorry, Sawyer, but we can't let you prune our plants. <laughs> go! Stop yelling in my beautiful ears! 
time to flush out our family tree. Oh, absolutely, Sweet Pea. I've had my chlorophyll of those two. I got the stuck in a woodshed because I can't pass the human balloons. Take it away, Vinny. Come on, Vinny. If you don't take this seriously, how are we ever going to get signed? Oh! Ah! I should have signed the greens instead of the blues. Oh! <laughs> You're such a child. Guy, you ever notice your eyes look crossed? Home. Is that weird? Your e oh, your ears are big. <laughs> Kids, come join our big happy pod family. <laughs> Mom, Dad, what are you doing? I don't think this is the real Mom and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Susie, please! It's our only chance! Fine, but you so owe me. I'm Susie. I'm McGee. We're make happy as can be. To sing and dance together like one big make family. I'm Susie. I'm McGee. We're make happy as can be. To sing and dance together like one big make family. We just wanted our own family. Really? Well, why didn't you just say so? Aw, oh, our little baby peas. <laughs> Come on, Suze. Let's give the new family their time in the sun. <laughs> Sue, Mom, Dad, fun visit? Um, I'm not sure. It must have been because the day just flew by. <laughs> it feels like we just got here. And now you should be leaving with McGee. You have to take him home. Yeah, you got it, Peanut. No! But not until the end of the summer. Lake Bottom seems like a great place. Oh, very family friendly. That's right. Hey, hey, maybe we should transfer you here. Think how much fun you'd have. No! Yeah, you know, I don't think she's ready to turn over a new leaf. McGee, concentrate! Concentrate, schmontentrate, Armand. Check out the technique I've been working on. My behind the back, under the crotch, nostril grip shot. <laughs> ah, not my fault. Is it? Get a ruby! Oh, please, Squirt. We all know there's no Santa, especially not one wearing a tacky Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> That's how all the holiday characters dress on summer vacation. It's hip. Aha. Uh -huh. This is what brought her down, all right. What? That could be anyone's arrow. <laughs> please tell me you can fix this sleigh, Sawyer. You gotta get it working so that Aunt Tussie can get out of here. <gasps> you want Santa to get out of here? You monster! There is no Santa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, McGee, what's the deal? Uh... <laughs> oh, I hope it's that book I asked Santa for. One hundred and one dangerous trick or three shots for beginners. <laughs> what? Huh? Underwear? Oh, you did not, Santa. Oh, 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 no, you did not. Oh, my dear Santa Clueless, your gift is the lamest. Do not come down my chimney ever again. I never want to hear you ho-ho-hoing in my house. Get stuffed, Santa Clueless! Your friend, McGee. <gasps> 
I know. And ever since I wrote that letter, I've been trying to lay low and nice myself off the naughty list. But when Santa recognizes me, I'll be lucky if I get coal underwear forever! We need to get him back to the North Pole before that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki's the name! Here for another tinsel-tastic summer at Old Camp Jingle Bottom! The Santa in training wonderland where sugar plums grow and presents fall from the sky! Ho oh, hey, hi! Hi ho oh, hey! I love Camp Jingle Bottom each and every day! Jingle Bottom, Jingle Bottom, Jingle Bottom! <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. I don't remember my lungs feeling so leathery. Oh, well! Hmm, whoever that guy is... Santa? ...must have amnesia. He thinks Camp Lake Bottom is Camp Jingle Bottom, and he doesn't remember his real identity at all. Whatever that is. Santa? Santa Claus? Santa! Guys, do you know what this means? I'm saved by amnesia! Now I don't have to resort to Plan B. Ah! If Santa has amnesia, how will kids ever get presents again? <laughs> Relax, Squirt. His memory will come back. <clears throat> One day. But for now, we'll just make him think he's actually in Camp Jingle Bottom, okay? Until we figure out a way to get him out of here. I don't think this is tinsel! Okay, so it may take a while. Ah! Ah! We have a big red sighting. Over. Oh, hey, hi! Hi, ho, oh, hey! I love Camp Jingle Bottom each and every day! Hey, Nikki! Once your training's done and you're a real Santa, just remember to never stay mad at any dumb kids that send you nasty letters, okay? I oh! Do uh, we have a deal? <gasps> no, uh, Nikki, I'm not the sugar plum stream! It's even more cavity forming than last summer! <laughs> <gasps> We need something the frog will find more delicious than Nikki. Oh, hey, hi! Hi, ho, oh, hey! Nikki, stay away from Mount S'mores! <laughs> yeah, I bet none of you packed s'more supplies. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the Jingle Bell Latrine! I've missed your festive flashy. Oh, come on! That is not a thing! Oh, Santa! Fancy meeting you in here! Now, about those tap lessons I asked for when I was a pup squatch. Hey! <laughs> ah! I'll leave you extra cookie! All clear, Nikki. He's from the camp across the lake. Camp Evil Elf. Yes, that is the camp's very believable name. Okay, I've had it, McGee. I can't keep up with this Santa charade a minute longer. We are figuring out a way to get Nikki's memory back right now. Maybe you're right, Gretch. Who knew being jolly was so dangerous? Hey, everybody! Who wants a kiss under the mistletoe? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's enough mistletoe for one day, Nikki. Co Rudolph Coop. Santa on target? Santa! Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> ho, ho, ho! Hello, boys and girls. I'm Santa. No! Come along now. Ho, ho, ho! North Pole, uh, we have a problem. Ho, ho, ho! Here we go. Oh. Hey, where'd Santa go? That was weird. <sighs> okay, campers, this memory resorter ought to resort old Santy's memories. Uh... <laughs> Who here knows all 567 verses of Jingle Bells? Guess what? I do! Hmm, maybe we should increase the volts. <laughs> I smell chestnuts roasting. <laughs> Figures. Santa can't even resort his memory right. Oh, typical Santa clueless. Mm. Yes. McGee, you've been naughty. Me and Squirt ever.
ever sent Santa any mean letters. Gretchen Gritcherson, isn't it? The girl who doesn't believe in Santa? <laughs> Santa? Oh, fiddlesticks. I had this silly thing set to revenge again. <laughs> Uncrusher! Unpulverizer! Those are not reindeer names. <gasps> presents! Oh, I want presents too. Presents! <laughs> <laughs> Naughty kids always fall for that. Never fails. It was the night before awesome. <sighs> Stealing Santa's sleigh is the naughtiest thing you could ever do. Ho, ho, no! Stop it! You're gonna pay for that naughty letter, McGee! And you, Squirt! You are the sweetest child I have ever met! Oh! You noticed! I don't trust that goody-goody act at all! My elf researchers at the Naughty Center will figure out what makes you tick and you! Gretchen. Hey, hey, easy, Big Red. I'll have you ho-ho-ho in no time. Ah! No! Gretch! Evasive reindeer maneuvers, please! Ah! Gretch! Put it in reverse! Huh? Peppermint for breakfast! How? Oh, oh, oh. Hello, boys and girls! Huh? huh? What? He loses his memory like all the time. You know how old this guy is, right? Convinced. This is not an elf. He's just short. And that, that was not a reindeer driven sleigh. It was, it was. Oh, forget it. I love you, Santa. I believe. Come back. Hey, Santa must have forgot about my naughty letter. I'm in the clear. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, what a glorious day. We learned about forgiveness, the importance of coal, and how to truly believe in the one and only Santa Claus. What else does this thingy do? Hey, hey be careful with that. Quick snack break, please. Sure. Try my hike trail mix. It's mostly dried nuts and some dried nut shells. It's high in hike protein. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can really taste the protein. You want some squid? <laughs> no thanks. I brought my own. You can really taste the protein. Yeah, time to get a move on. Squirt, the mutant ape stays here. <sighs> Mr. Elephant, are you okay? Poor guy. 
probably needs some energy. Oh, really, Gretch? Hasn't that elephant suffered enough? <gasps> A real-life circus elephant! Can this day get any better? <laughs> A real-life circus elephant with an epic talent for farting? Awesome! Me and this farting elephant were made for each other. Hey! Keep your trunk to yourself. Nope. Gretch? It likes Gretch instead of me? Huh. It must have gotten knocked in the head from the crash. Ah, uh, still no. If there's anyone who's supposed to be friend of Farting Circus Elephant, it's me. So let... <laughs> <laughs> He's called Floppy. What a great showbiz name. Shouldn't we at least try to find Floppy's owner? I guess so. But I can't stand to think of this majestic beast being forced to perform in a circus. <gasps> oh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> What's that strange sound coming out of Greta's face? No one ever finds out about the delightful giggling. Look at me. <laughs> We should probably take him back to Lake Bottom, where it's safe. Or, you know, safe is a relative term. Lima bean casserole had enough bean boost to get airborne. <laughs> One flying zombie coming up. Oh, nothing. <laughs> I called some contacts from my old carny days, but no one's heard of any missing elephant. Two shaved orangutans and a bearded lady, but no elephant. I know how to cook the elephant, not how to feed them. We could save a lot of effort if I fix us all a nice plate of the tonk schnitzel. <sighs> save yourself, Floppy. <sighs> Run like the wind that you constantly pass. <gasps> <laughs> no one is claiming Floppy, so that means we can keep him? Yes! <gasps> <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> you know, whatevs. There's no greater love than between an elephant and the one who cleans up after it. Um, I, I think you're gonna need a bigger shovel. Floppy, it's all set. I got your new identity and safe passage out of here. We gotta go now. Huh? <laughs> okay, maybe just one more night. <laughs> Commence mission! Come! <laughs> <laughs> Camp Lake Bottom has such bad reception for evil schemes. <laughs> I still do not get how a farting elephant isn't my bestie. <laughs> Pachyderm, otherwise known as Floppy. Um, wouldn't that just spell Fop, not Floppy? You okay? So the name's not great. You try finding the perfect handle for a farting elephant. Are you kidding me? There's Toots Magoots, uh, Baron Butt Burper, Captain Colon, Trunk Funk. Enough! I get it. Besides, it's time to explain my evil scheme. 
after staging a fake circus truck crash, I planted my farting warrior elephant for you to discover and fall in love with. Oh, so that's why I'm not Floppy's favorite. I knew it. Evil scheme animals are never my besties. Floppy? Is what he's saying true? This was all an evil scheme? <laughs> with Floppy by my side, I've already taken over. Lake Bottom. You'll never get away with this. Wrong. Clowns plan out every little detail. You should have seen my intense fart animal warrior training. <laughs> Finally, I'd found Floppy, the perfect pachyderm weapon. Too bad he's too dumb to perfect the ultimate secret fart command. Don't you ever call Floppy dumb. <laughs> Point. That elephant made a total moron out of me. I should have never trusted a farting elephant. <laughs> Time for your grand finale! Hey, Gretch, heads up! <laughs> well, now you know how I feel! Hey! Enough clowning around! And I don't mean that in a clown positive way. Get rid of these campers! Now! No! Crash! Hmm. Ah! Smells like corn chips. Oh, cut it out, Floppy! You're gonna make me. Oh. Did my gassiness bring you back to your senses? Wow! That's disgusting! Quick! Uh, we gotta... Oh, of course! You're not evil, Floppy. You're just under Doofus's control. <laughs> Guys, I need some protein. Snack! Uh, Squirt, I got this. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Joey Gretch! Ha-ha! Please change, Fart Master! <laughs> go, Fart Master! Go, go! Go, go Fart Master! Go! That's enough fart cheering! Activate Destructo Fart! <laughs> <laughs> I think he's the Fart Master! <laughs> <laughs> for my non-evil scheme. The collar! No! I've been clowned. But how could you stand the deadly stench of the destructo part? All I smell is sweet friendship. Friendship? Hmm. I never planned for that little detail. Oh, well. I guess you never send in an elephant to do a clown's funny business. <laughs> <laughs> The secret ultimate fort command! So he could do it all along! I just meant that he should run away. <laughs> oh, I love you, you big stinky intestinal gas filled evil scheme foiling farting elephant!
include any other chipmunks in this portal's dimension, beware of humans and try to blend in. Good luck, and may the bugs be with you. <laughs> So barbaric. Perhaps our fears were misplaced. Perhaps humans aren't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> this fluffy cheeked and bushy tailed chipmunk is just perfect for my special gumbo recipe. <gasps> Trust me, you won't feel a thing. <laughs> Except maybe a cold chill. <laughs> And now we do this the hard way. You can run, but you can't hide your hide. <laughs> okay, let's start the pre-flight safety check. Flimsy and highly unstable cardboard wings. Check. Easily distracted birds that will fly off at the first sign of danger. Check. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> That's it, Squirt. We're doing it. But we need more flap. More flap! Yes! I've harnessed the power of bird! Red, you gotta try this! No thanks! I remember how bad it all went after you harnessed the power of dung beetle? Yeah, ew! Oh, Squirt the Mickey! We got a situation up here! Engines one through six are experiencing major exhaust trouble! And that's why I prefer the poop splash free zone. I'm much safer over here. Yeah! <gasps> 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 Chipmunk danger! <laughs> Wait! I sense a disturbance in the forest. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! is delicious. It's much for dinner. There, there, Gretch. The little guy's long gone. <gasps> the disturbance in the forest, it's back. Coming from over there. Now hold still, or this will get really messy. No! For shame, chopping chipmunks. But campus, all I want is its food. Bad, juicy chipmunk rump meat. Uh, yeah, we know, Rosebud. We know. All creatures of the forest are precious, and that includes their rump meat. I won't let you hurt Mr. Cheeks, and yes, that's what I'm calling him. How would you like it if chipmunks hunted you? Huh, Rosebud? Huh? Ch -ch 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 chipmunks? Hunting us? <laughs> 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 There's a whole other dimension thingy. I don't know, but something about this place is making me feel weird. You haven't felt anything yet. Guards! Seize the humans! <laughs> oh, look at the little ninja chipmunks. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> Ow! Yutsi Poo Talk is strictly forbidden in Monk Bottom. But if there's no cutesy poo talk, how do you talk to your chipmunk babies? Come on. With dignity and respect and brutal honesty. Of course, of course. Talking chipmunks, I mean, this is just a dream. Because if it wasn't, could I do this? to hurt the chipmunks. All I ever wanted was sweet succulent keister kebab. Yeah, we know, Rosebud. We know. Okay, coast is clear. Let's head back and figure out a way to rescue Gretch. <laughs> oh, McGee's anti-chipmunk rabbit dog call trick actually worked. Gotta love dreams. <laughs> That laser thing is much more effective. You were willing to sacrifice your tiny organs for me? 
Maybe I was wrong about you disgusting little creatures. Oh, yeah! Now you give it a try. <laughs> dream is so realistic. I can even taste the spit. Well, it's kind of acorny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you disgusting little furball. You're welcome. And ow! Watch it! Your little claws are all pinchy and they're... <laughs> pinchy? Oh, I'm awake! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Come on, Squirt, can't you spot a chipmunk-built human trap? We gotta stay on our game if we're gonna outsmart these chipmunks. All right, game time! Oh, I regret nothing. <laughs> what are you going to do to her? This human will stand trial for crimes against chipmanity. Effective immediately. A trial? That's it? Well, of course it is. We are civilized chipmunks. You stand accused of attempted chipmunk devouring. If found guilty, you will be sentenced to our most extreme punishment. Yay! Chipmunks of the jury, my client is not guilty. She never technically ate a chipmunk. Sure, she thought about it. I mean, a lot. My fellow chipmunks, how can we believe anything this human says when he treats animals like this? <gasps> it's raining our feathered friends for human amusement? For sure! <laughs> sorry, Rosebud. I'm all out of the ideas I got from watching three minutes of that lawyer TV show. I'm sorry. <laughs> order! Order! You're all out of order. <laughs> yeah, I always wanted to say that. Okay, go on, little buddy. Tell him how we shared a moment and how our two species can live together in peace and you know, all that garbage. Based on this new evidence, I find the defendant not guilty. Is what I would say if the jury wasn't so hungry for punishment. In other words, guilty! Yay! <sighs> I hate chipmunks. No! Don't punish me! I'm innocent, I tell you! <gasps> My family cookbook! Chipmunk for Gumbo? She never wanted to eat us after all? How is this recipe different than the delicious human hair stew we all enjoy? Have you all forgotten everything our four monks taught us about chipmunk mercy? For shame! You're right! Release the humans! <sighs> Huggy poo's all around! No, that is still forbidden! Uh, what's that? You cannot hug the squishy human. And go change your diaper. Stink. Wow, that was brutally honest. Oh, I knew this lucky rabbit foot would come in handy. A rabbit foot? You caused one of our furry rodent brethren his limb. Get them. Again. Okay. Now let's kick some furry butt. <laughs> without barfing in fear. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Punishment 
of shame shaving. Oh. Well, uh, human hair stew does sound delicious. Am I right? And monster matters too. Too much and they go split. Okay, okay, got it. Now leave it to us, Rosebud, and enjoy your day off. Slow down, pushy pants. We must take extra special care to protect my prize golden mato. Oh, we'll guard it with our lives. Have a good time. Oh, but who will vacuum up to dusty bunnies? Oh, no worries. Nice to see this vacuum doing more than just collecting dust. <laughs> The dusty trail, filthy fuzzies. They grew up so fast. My chore watch. <gasps> I forgot the most important thing of all. Pushing a big red button is a chore? The whole camp depends on this big red button. Watch and learn. <gasps> See? All right, all right, stop worrying and start spying. Your chariot awaits. Relax, Rosebud. I know your chores like the back of my hand. <laughs> See you later, alligator. <laughs> Which was here a second ago. Uh, somebody wait for me. At last, the kitchen's mine to make my specialty. McMac and cheesy Ella McMe. Stinky cheese, peanut butter, macaroni, a little bit of dill pickle in a tomato sauce. Show time. To the golden mato! Hold that pickle, McChef. Oh. <laughs> Hold that pickle. Classic. That's one happy golden mato. Yeah, but the other monster matoes are kind of in the dumps. Let's have a closer look, shall we? Firm consistency. Pungent tang. <laughs> Tastes great to me. Ew. Uh, what are these? Monster zits? Sicky Specs! Sicky Specs! I'm well clammy. And that's saying something for a zombie. But I'm hot. Who turned up the sun? I need to lie down. Oh, much better. One arachnid key with extra hairy legs to soothe that sicky speck flu. Thank you. My pipes are all plugged up. Well, have no fear. The plumber's here. <laughs> Much better. Okay, that mucus is conquered. Now, let's celebrate with McMack and... Uh, McGee, can you water the monster tomatoes? Yeah, we're kind of tied up. And you may need this. <sighs> So much for the cheese. Voila! The scare sprinkler! <laughs> it gives me time for some kitchen wizardry. <laughs> Dusty bunnies have no appreciation for the culinary arts. <laughs> come on, come on, hop to it! Oh. Huh? Just wind up a little Mick magic. And bye bye, buddies. <laughs> oh, I can hear that kitchen calling. Worm up the griddle. Oh, nothing can stop me now. I, oh, come on. Now oh, that big red nut and button can wait. Uh -huh. hmm. Let's put 
the stop fest. <gasps> ah! Oh, so that's what the big red button does. Okay. Guys, I kind of put my foot in it with the chores. Uh -oh. <laughs> Tell us about it. Hey! Get back or be sanitized. Seriously, you know that big red. Uh... It's a nice day for a walk. Whoa! I've heard of Bigfoot, but this is ridiculous! <gasps> Rosebud's prize gold Mado! No! Uh, anything but that! No! This golden Mado's off limits! Hey, stop me! How about a foot bath? Just a hunch, but does this have anything to do with that big red button? Yes. Yes, it does. It's okay, Dusty Bunnies. I got you. <laughs> stop. No, no, no. Don't stop. <laughs> Just tickle those giant tootsies instead. <laughs> Fastest vacuum in the West. Uh oh. I think Mr. Stompy just figured out how to get the Golden Mado. I think you're right, Gretch. And it's our job to put a stomp to it. Stomp to it? Dude, that was brutal. I know, I know. Punch help me make plans. And on that note, Squirt, hold that golden Mado! Hear that, Mado? Huggy time! Rich, we gotta find that foot's Achilles heel! You just can't stop. No, it seems that I can't. I got you, Goldie! Whoa! Is that my head pounding? If it is, tell it to pound quieter. Hey! Keep off the grass! And our counselors! Much better. Is it me? Or does peace and quiet smell like a gym shock? <laughs> we got off on the wrong foot, Stompy. But the McDoctor is in now. Rosebud's prize golden mado, after all. No! Who knew Stompy was such a booty? Yeah, his cooking kicks butt. As long as that's all he's kicking. Oh. I feel like a brand new zombie. Uh, home 
Sweet camp. <laughs> Rosebud! I feel like a Zopa model thanks to you campers and all your... Puss in oh. heel! Someone didn't push the red button! <gasps> My golden mato! That foul foot has stomped its last vegetable! Actually, the mato is a fruit. <laughs> Just take a taste test. Fresh, extra, stompy, golden meadow soup, a la McMe and McFoot. <sighs> Delicious. You squished the golden meadow, but it was perfectly ripe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I never doubted you. <laughs> McGee! No worries. Sure, Master's got this covered. Get along, little dusties. Shocking. <laughs> Guys, sorry about trying to prank you. Shake? Uh, sure. Huh? Weird. Tell me about it. Put it there, buddy. Apology accepted. What's wrong with this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Mail call. This one's addressed to the prank king. Well, at least somebody still respects royalty. Enjoy the pie, Stank King. Your non-pal, Butt Squat. Pranked by Butt Squat. Harsh. You wait, there's more. Pie goes great with ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Do they know who they're laughing at? I'm the Prank King. At least I was. I want my prank mojo back! See that coming? Yank the pranky? All right. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Hanky Pranky, the Pixie Prank Master. A pranking pixie? Awesome! So, you say you've lost your prank mojo. Yeah! i do anything to get it back. Repeat anything! Did you say anything? Twice! You're in the right place, then! I am? Oh, that's right. First, you've got to free me by reading this. Huh. Hold it. Why are you trapped in there in the first place? It is a long story. Too long. Okay. But you gotta swear you'll help me get my mojo back. Oh, I swear, all right. Uh, um, hanky, pranky, stinky, stanky. Come and prank our camp so swanky. <laughs> you won't regret this! Awesome! Let's do this! <laughs> Prank lesson one, the old classic breath of fresh air gag. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! The Prank King is back! <laughs> Not bad, but it could be better. Observe. Uh, isn't that a bit mean? Hey, it's just a joke. Don't you want to be the greatest prankster Lake Bottom's ever seen? Whoa! <laughs> High five! Come on, don't leave me hanging. <laughs> Hello! Need a little help here! Wait! <laughs> Prank 
lesson two. The Who Wants a Snack Attack never fails. <laughs> huh? Oh, nuts in a can. Finders keepers. <laughs> <laughs> go pranking, go pranking. All right, you got me. <laughs> oh, nice snakey. Oh, no. <laughs> Real snakes? That's not cool. You want to be prank king or what? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so not funny, McGee. <laughs> it's not funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> you see what I did there? High five. Prank lesson three is worthy of a true prank king. <laughs> Hit it, boyo! <laughs> Gosfish. <laughs> that was epic! Hicky! <laughs> Easy on the pranks. Those are my friends. <laughs> You're not gonna give up now, are you? I thought you wanted to be prank king. I don't want to be prank king if it's done with pranks like this. So pack up your gag bag, you pranking pipsqueak. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can get rid of me that easily? <laughs> Guys, I am so sorry. We don't want to hear it. Your pranks used to be fun, but now they're just mean. No way. I can explain. Well, you see, what happened was I was walking and I'm... Good, I'm... Good, good. Grinch! Heads up! Shark! We're tired of being targets! No! Yeah. High five! Let her go! Shame on you, McGee. Shame, shame, shame. But it wasn't me. It was him! What? Pretty funny. Must be very proud of yourself, huh, McGee? It's a pranking pixie dude I freed from a tree! No! Stop that shark! <laughs> I like it here. I think I'll stick around. <laughs> go pranking! Go pranking! Go pranking! What have I done? <laughs> you bottom dwellers are more fun than a barrel of stink bombs! <laughs> Ew! Ooh, that's some hanky stanky. <laughs> I'm out of here. I gotta face it. The only way they'll be safe is if I leave camp. And I'm not coming back till I find that pixie and end his pranking for good. Trust me, guys, I'm not the one doing all this, but I'll fix it. I promise. Right. Hi. Get out of here, Hanky! I had to leave camp late for him because of you! Did you know? Oh, I very funny. That does it. I'm gonna put you back in that tree where you belong. Hanky, pranky, stinky, stanky. No! <laughs> Listen up, laddie. I didn't get released after being trapped for a thousand years just to be a sidekick to a prank king. The scroll only gets me out. You gotta outprank me to get me back in. Well, then I challenge you to a prank off. I win, you go back into the tree. But if I win. <laughs> I get the picture. Deal. Ah, you'll never beat me. I know every lame prank in your book. You're nothing but a washed up prank tank of failure. Oh, it's on. Oh, yeah? What about this one? What? Prepare to eat canned snake. <laughs> Hilariously lame. How about this one? Ah! Oh. I know you're around here somewhere. Ow! Yeah! You guys believed me? We realized that you could never pull off those pranks. It had to be a pixie. <laughs> I'm gonna prank Camp Lake Bottom back to the prank ages! Yeah, that makes no sense. Makes sense of this! Away from me! Oh. Do you have to?
to split so soon. <laughs> Does anyone know how to steer a banana? <laughs> Maybe I can beat the ultimate prankster by doing exactly what he expects. Lamest pranks ever. <laughs> <laughs> Come on out, bottom dwellers. Pranky will get you sooner or later. <laughs> we surrender. We surrender. The true Prank King won. Shake? Hold the whoopee cushion. You really thought you could get me with that joy buzzer? Put some effort into it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pranky, take this! Oh. Uh, how about Sid? <laughs> <laughs> Not my snap hat. Hello, Sasquatch Wetty. <laughs> Is it funny? No, it's he hilarious. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yikes. Oh. You'll pay for this, McGee. That's pranking to you. No! <sighs> <sighs> Pranks a lot, McGee. The prank king is back. Well, thanks. But a king is nothing without his loyal subjects. You said it. High five! Don't leave us hanging. <laughs> Don't! Didn't you, boy? Uh, I'd hate to see a big one. Ah, the sweet smell of victory. Out of the way, bottom feeders! Oh, great. Butt squat. Ah! Ah! You scared him. Hinky! Sweet! Behold, the butt squad beach blitzer. Look upon it and drool. Weapons grade titanium frame, double turbo thrusters, auto inflating white walls, seven cup holders, <laughs> and a mobile missile launcher. <laughs> the Blitzer is the fastest car on the lake. Ew, please tell me this is mud. That's nothing compared to my, uh, super cool McGee mud mover. As if you don't have a car. We do so, and it will beat your butt blaster any day of the week. Oh, yeah? Let's see it, McLeyer. It's, um, getting super cool racing stripes painted on. Yeah, so cool, you'll get frostbite just looking at him. Uh, I don't want to look at it. Fine. Then put your car where your mouth is. Winner takes all. You got it. We win, we get your ride. You win, like that'll ever happen. You get ours. Fine. See you at the race, McDweeb. Did they say race? I'll get the blazers. I'll get the microphone with the sweet, squishy ball of shut top. And don't forget to bring my new muck mover. So cool you'll get frostbite? Uh-huh. Better get working on it. Yep. Frostbite? I'll start knitting the mittens. <laughs> Let's race in Banshees. Race friends of all ages. It's time for the Slime Ball Run. It's an impressive matchup. The Bud Squad Peach Blaster. Versus the McGee Mud Mover. Don't mind me. This has nothing to do with the Mud Mover. Just a random tire rolling game. Wow! <laughs> you call that a racer? It's a junkyard on wheels. 
<laughs> yeah? We'll see what you have to say about it when it wins the race. The Mud Mover's got futuristic aerodynamics. State-of-the-art zero-pollution exhaust. <laughs> and a frost-free body. Let's go! I am not racing for that hunk of junk. Yeah, it's super pathetic -o. Oh yeah? You want to up the bet? Sure. If you win the race, you get the blitzer. When we win the race, we get Lake Bottom. You're, You're on. on! What just happened? I think we just bet Camp Lake Bottom. Oh, these stakes are sky high. They're betting the camp. And I'm betting it's bye bye, Lake Bottom. Keep it together, Armand. We're on pretend TV. <laughs> okay, campers, start your engines! Lake Bottom will make an awesome parking lot. Or the perfect dump. No renovations needed. Yeah, well, you gotta win first. On the mark, get zipped, go! We're doomed, aren't we? Pretty much. <laughs> this is gonna be easier than we thought. Hey! It actually works! Not for long. Watch out! Oh, oh, no! Pinky! <laughs> See you around, <laughs> Lamoids! Follow that armadillo! Be careful, guys! And watch out for Pinky! Our bottom dwellers are turning that spin into a win! You bet, Sawyer. As long as they don't end up spinning their wheels in the swamp. Please tell me that you're preparing an omelet. I was gonna ask you the same question. Ah! Hey, sis! We're back! Back in last place, you mean? You've got a flag. <laughs> you haven't won yet, butt squad. Well, at least the airbag works. Looks like the mud mover is sunk. And so is our camp. No, 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 no. <laughs> Me, you. There's enough gas in this swamp to float an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Give that skunk cabbage a squeeze. Nice. Ah! Am stinky. Yes! Give the other tires a shot of gas while I start this baby up. Gotcha! The beach blitzer will be ours! And we'll save Camp Lake Bottom. Yeah! yeah! This swamp gas is bad. Oh, sorry, that one was me. I have a nervous tummy. Enjoy your last ride in our beach blitzer butt splat. Oh, I'm gonna be riding it right into my lake bottom parking lot. Stinky! Stinky pits, dead ahead. <gasps> oh! I think I broke the brakes. Something I didn't forget? I'm impressed. Not impressed! Well, race fans, things are going downhill fast for Team Lake Bottom. You can say that again. <laughs> oh, tell me that was the balloon. It was the balloon. <laughs> ha! It's not that easy to get rid of me, Snoozy. Actually, it is. Your sister is a bubble brain. Oh, a dangerous bubble brain! Oh. Whoa! Nice one, Sue! Oh. Oh. Time to split you two up! It's not over yet, Butt Squad! Looks like McGee and Gretchen snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. Farewell, Camp Lake Bottom. Okay. 
Pardon me. You really should see someone about that. The fake announcers are right. We could lose the camp. Hmm. Perfect. of Titans has taken a topsy-turvy turn into turbulence. Well, you can say that again. Actually, I don't think I can. Hey, Bud Squad, check out our new wheels. See you at the finish line, loser. <laughs> don't let the big bad car scare you, Pinky. You're safe here. Oh, come on! <laughs> hey, Squirt, mind if I borrow your freaky little pet? No! Pinky! <laughs> Enjoy the rear view, Susie! Boo! McGee, pedal to the metal! Leave it to Butt Squat to take low down cheating to new highs! <laughs> no, I can't bear to see our camp flattened! But it sure makes exciting television! I think I'm going to look into a new imaginary profession. That runaway piggy is heading right for Lake Bottom! Take the toilet seat and finish the race, Gretch! I'm on it! I'm gonna hitch a ride. Okay, Pinky, let's roll. Ha! Even if we goofy saves Lake Bottom, he can't win this race. Sunny Smiles rules! I've never seen anything like this race, fans. And Team Lake Bottom win the race and save the camp? My answer is no! Let's put some bats in this! Go! Camp Lake Bottom is mine! Woo! Well, friends, this is it. Victory is sweet. What? Yeah! Yay! And the bottom dwellers win by an armadillo's nose. Yeah! Way to roll, Pinky! Yes, Pinky! You were so brave. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. I hate losing. To you. Aw, oh, but you're so good at it. Hand him over, butt breath. You are now the proud owner of a turbo-powered pancake. Sweet! <laughs>